Um, we are working uh, to, to confirm the identities of other folks. Um, state police are working to confirm the identities of other folks. I, I believe they said they had uh, eight people um, earlier today uh, who they had identified, I'm sure by now, um, that they have more, uh, and, and we're just waiting to get more information uh, from them. Um, but let us not lose sight of the fact that um, these there people. 18 people. 18. Right. Um, yeah. 18 people dead, 13 injured. Um, and you're looking at seven of them that we have been able to confirm uh, through, the, well, through their families, through their friends that have told us in a, in a place where we feel comfortable saying, okay, you know, enough people have confirmed to us that, that this person has unfortunately become a victim of this violence. Um, you know, for example, Peyton Brewer Ross, you know, one of the uh, sources that we heard from, to use it as more of a generic term, was his employer, Bath Ironworks, where he was a uh, member of the uh, AFL-CIO union as well, and Bath Ironworks had uh, released a statement and a picture of Peyton saying, all of us at Bath Ironworks are heartbroken to share that we have lost a member of our BIW family. We send our deepest condolences, thoughts, and prayers to the family and friends of our employee, Peyton Brewer Ross, who was killed in Lewiston on Wednesday night. Peyton was a valuable part of our team, a member of the pipe shop test crew, and recently assisted in the launch of Hull 523 Harvey C. Barnum Jr. DDG 124. Peyton completed the grueling coursework and on-the-job training of BIW's rigorous apprenticeship program, graduating in 2022. He was hired just five years ago and was making a positive impact on our company. He will be sorely missed. Yeah.